Tonight, a lot of you reacting pretty strongly on our Facebook page after two teenagers were sentenced to life in prison with the chance of parole after pleading guilty to murdering two grandparents. The case has a huge outrage factor. Prosecutors say 19-year-old Johnny Ryder and 17-year-old Cassandra Bjorgi slashed her grandparents' throats. Then they threw a party at the house, caulking the doors and windows to conceal the smell of the bodies. At one point, the Gwinnett DA said he was considering the death penalty in this case. 11 Alive's Ryan Kruger talked to the assistant DA tonight to get a better understanding of how this plea went down. Family members told prosecutors they just couldn't stomach the thought of a long, drawn-out trial, having to relive those horrifying murders over and over again. So they were relieved when Cassandra Bjorga and Johnny Ryder pled guilty today. For Ryder, it was a plea full of tears and remorse. But for Cassandra Bjorga, the teenager who reportedly masterminded the vicious double killing of her grandparents, well, from her, you didn't hear a peep. Did not say a word during um, when she had the opportunity from the judge. I wish she had given that family something. I don't know if it's that she still hasn't processed the full extent of what she's done, or if if she's just a lost soul and doesn't have it. What do you make of this young lady uh, who was charged with these serious accusations? I mean, this is awful. It's bad. In all of the interviews that law enforcement had with her, she never expressed any remorse, never showed any remorse. One of the deputies overheard her say, look at me on TV, I'm a star. What about Mr. Ryder? Did he, was he remorseful? He sounded remorseful in court. According to what he said in court today, uh, seemed to be remorseful. I don't know how genuine that is. I hope it was, but one never knows. Cassandra Bjorga and Johnny Ryder won't be eligible for parole for at least 60 years. The two of them will be almost 80 years old by then. You know, a lot of you on our Facebook page are asking why the teenagers would even get the possibility of parole. Well, here's the law. There are three possible sentences for someone who's been convicted of murder, death, life without parole, and then life. So in this plea agreement that was reached between these defendants and prosecutors with the consent of the family, it was the lowest of the three possible sentences that they got, which is life with the possibility of parole 60 years down the road.